My name's Mitch, I'm from Sydney, uh, Australia. Starting off with the abseiling, you just knew it was going to be amazing from there. Felt all confident sort of leading up to it and then um, once you got to the ledge it sort of made you double think. My name is Flor Pecheur, I'm from Belgium. I've heard of white tomo before, but I've never thought about this sort of caving. I'm Murray Feast, I'm a teacher. I'm a reasonable amount of abseiling before but to be suspended and to come down like that and to be able to look up and, and to be able to look down and to be able to share the experience over a considerable amount of time, it's, it's not a rushed thing at all. Hi, my name's Pip Feast and I live about half an hour from Hamilton. I've only abseiled about once in my life and it was about down a 10 metre cliff. And then I heard I was abseiling down a 100 metre cliff. Probably the biggest challenge was thinking, can I do it? One of the nice things about it was I learned a lot about the people in the group because we had the opportunity to do that as well as just trek through the caves. Tracking through the caves themselves, I mean it was just fascinating. Um, from the glow wounds we saw towards the end to the waterfalls to the physical challenges we had and uh, to top it all off we were in a neat group of people. I didn't know how being underground that far would be like either, so I think that was a great learning curve. There's always something different, you just sort of didn't know where to look. I'd say it's very wild, like raw, compared to other, you know, guided trips. Here you're really into, into the rivers, into the rocks, into the caves. It's very strange, but it's gorgeous. Once I was actually brave enough to look down at the views, um, I thought, man, it's just got that sort of misty, spooky kind of atmosphere. It's, it's out of this world, really. And I was like, oh, you must be the first people to ever go there. To think that water coursing through that underground cavern had, had so moved mountains, I mean, unbelievable. I thought a little bit about Tolkien. I thought this is, you know, like a Hobbit adventure. You're in a lost world. You're in a different place. It's very special.